Okay, ich habe es mal ausreden lassen. Und da kommen sie wieder. Sorry, it's been a long night. Yeah, you know what they say. Centuries of marriage come with centuries of baggage. I gotta say, your place, it looks, uh, expensive. What do you mean by that? Beast! No, really, I wanna know. What are you trying to say, huh? Did you come to give us decorating it's tips? It's nice, that's all. Nothing. It's a nice place you got here. Thanks, but that's really not why I called. Is this something about that loan you took out? From the crooked man? I didn't know what else to do. So we should deal with this on our own. Bigby's just going to complicate I things. I called him here, and I want to see if he can help us out. Why are you being like this? I'm just trying to do what's best for us. That's all I ever do. I want to help you. I'd like to help you, but I can't do anything if you don't tell me what's going on. I gotta know one thing first. What if we did have something to say about the Crooked Man? What if we talk and you don't get him? And all this comes back on us? We'd be risking a lot. We've seen what happens when you cross the Crooked Man. And I don't know if it's worth it. If you can't give us certain assurances. We're just looking for a little peace of mind. Other people are in danger too. You think you're the only ones in danger? If you have info on that Crooked Bastard, I need to hear it. Otherwise, I've got better things to do. No, please don't. Then tell me what the fuck is going on. You're in so much debt? Look around you. This isn't the way people short on cash live. Look, we're used to a certain kind of lifestyle, okay? We couldn't just give that we up. We never meant for it to get like this. It's just that we had nowhere else to turn. And we got in over our heads. There's not a lot of work out there. Who would we be if we just lived like... Uh oh, die Arbeit ruft. Hi there, you've reached Beauty. And Beast. And we're out doing something fabulous. Um, let me just, uh... A day at the beach? Skiing the slopes? <laughs> and we can't come Stop to Beast. the phone hey. right now, so we're leave a message here. at the beep and I we'll should... get back to you as soon as... <laughs> Humanly possible. Beep. That fucking message. I'm gonna come down there and bash your heads in with that machine if I have to call again and hear that fucking message one more time. I've been doing this long enough to know that if you had the cash, you'd have paid by now. So consider yourselves out of warnings. It's time to start thinking about how else you can settle this. Cause next time, I'm making a house. This voice is dead. Who is that? The crooked man's gonna get his, one way or another. <laughs> ah, da sind die Schulden. All I care about is, how can I find the crooked man? Who do I talk to? Where do I go? The Lucky Pawn. That's where I borrowed the money. The crooked man's behind that place. I'd overheard people talking to Jersey about loans before. So when I needed money, that's where I went. I didn't know what to do. You could have told me. You What's really going on there? Plate. Who gets loans at a pawn shop anyway? What's really going on at this place? The crooked man knows what people need to get by. So he provides. Besides, didn't seem like such a bad deal when Jersey Devil was explaining it. I can see now that it was a mistake, but I'm not the only one who goes there, you know. I saw the woodsman's axe there just the other day. It was in a display case. I guess he's hit hard times too. There's a lot of that going around. I can't imagine he has a lot of marketable skills. Sometimes. Fables just don't have anywhere else to go. Mary got an axe from there. Fucking Bloody Mary must go through there. She had Woody's axe last night. Trying to chop my damn head off with it. Maybe if you go there, you can sort some things out. I guess I'll go check out the Lucky Pawn. If I can't track down the Crooked Man there, maybe I can make enough noise that the Crooked Man will come find me. Hold on, Bigby. Don't go there. Sounds like you're just going to get Beauty in trouble. And...
You know that butcher shop, the cut above? It's the place on Tubman Street. Same block as the baker and the candlestick maker. Well, I've been delivering packages from there for a while. The thing is, it's for the crooked man. And I don't think it's meat in the packages. You, you gotta understand, I needed work. You have to believe us. We didn't think it would get like this. We're decent people, Bigby. What are you delivering? Well, what are you delivering? What's going on there? How does this fit into the crooked man's operation? I couldn't tell you. But I do know this. It's the only meat market in town that doesn't carry filet. I'm not sure how much actual butchery goes on there. How did you get involved with this? Johan the Butcher called. He had a problem with the refrigeration unit one night. But when I finished, it was your pal Mary who showed up to pay me. She said I was reliable. She liked that. And it's the only thing I've been able to pick up. And it's still not enough. I don't want Beauty to have to work. Especially not where she was. It's up to me to take care of her. Want my help? Then quit. Well, you're done working there. If you want my help, this is over. Yeah, of course. Of, of course. I just wanted to provide for Beauty. Give her the kind of life she deserves. We shouldn't have to live like this. Scraping to get by. None of us should. We were royalty once. We were accustomed to a certain lifestyle. All we want is to make this place feel a little bit like home. You wouldn't understand, Big B. I don't need to. I don't need to understand. It's not my fucking job to understand. My job is to keep Fable Town safe. So, where are you going? If this all goes sideways, I'd like to know where it's coming from. Well, well, wir haben jetzt zwei Orte. Entweder Lucky Palm oder den Job. Lucky Palm oder Butchery. Schwere Entscheidung. Um, the Lucky, Lucky Palm. That's where I borrowed the money. The crooked man's behind that place. The Lucky Palm. You know that butcher shop, the cut above? The thing is, I don't think it's meat in the packages. You know that butcher shop. The lucky palm. That's Tja, shop, links oder rechts, links oder rechts. 3, 2, 1, wie wäre es mit dem Tipp, den Biest uns gegeben hat. You Denn immerhin, selbst wenn es zum Kampf kommen above. sollte, wäre lucky er palm. deutlich in der Oberhand That's mit seinem you know tierischen shop, Art im Gegensatz zu Beauty. I want to know what the crooked man is hiding at that butcher shop. You know, Bigby, once you show up there, word is gonna spread. There may be nothing left for you to see if you go to the Lucky Pawn after. Well, I guess I'll find out. Wait, I don't know what you're planning to do when you find the crooked man, but is there any way you could help us out? What do you mean? Well... Maybe you can make this all just go away. We would really appreciate it. What do you say? Can you help us out? You want me to kill him? You're asking me to kill him, aren't you? Is that what you think I do? Uh, no, of course not. I don't know how you'd get that idea. We just, we know that the crooked man is dangerous to all of Fable Town. I'm gonna do my job. Lucky for you, that might just solve your problems anyway. Oh, thank you, Big B. I'm sure you'll do the right thing. Ach, auf einmal sind wir nett. <lacht> Immer wieder faszinierend, wie sich die Art der, ich wollte schon sagen Menschen, aber Fabelwesen da hingehen doch ändern kann. Keine Rauchezone, schade aber auch. Stop smoking. Ist eh nicht gut für die Lunge. Fabelwesen hin oder her. Na, was haben wir denn da? Der die Theke oder sonstiges gehen wir mal noch nicht. Cold Drinks. Sehr wenig drin vorhanden. Normalerweise sollten solche Kühlschränke doch voll sein. K 
Kiel Basel. Mhm. Ein Ticketreel. Huh, empty. Either he's got a whole lot of customers or he doesn't have any. Oh, sieht mir right. sehr leer aus. Das gefrorene Essen. Not very appetizing. Frozen solid. Who'd want to eat this? Yep, that's the question. Was haben wir da? Package. Bet that's what Beast was talking about. Hmm. That logo looks familiar. I've seen this before at Anti Greenleafs. Bigby Wolf? <clears throat> well, welcome, Sheriff. Uh, what can I get for you? You interested in a particular cut? Um, let's see. What do we have in stock? Let's, uh, let's see what we got here. Flank steak, on special. New York strip. Uh, oh, I can have some wild boar in tomorrow if you like. Uh, sirloin, ribs, roast, tongue. What's going on here? Tongue here. Johan, I want to know exactly what's going on here. We sell meat. Did you want to buy something? <laughs> what you see is what you get. Just meat. You'll find anything else. We just, uh, we do more wholesale and meat packing than walk up service. I'd like to help you. Really, I would. But there's uh, nothing. Mind here. if I look around? Uh, you don't mind if I take a look around. I guess not. I. Sheriff, I. Did you hear that? What? Oh, I'm real sorry. Hold on. I, I just gotta go check on that. N don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. Butcher? I just have to go see. Oh, god damn it. Jetzt hat er mich mit irgendeinem Kabel hier rausgehauen. Vergiss es, wir gehen hinterher. Jetzt hat er es gecheckt. Äh, unschön. Da fühlt man sich doch gleich. Richtig lecker. Let's just talk to him. Relax, Johan. I just want to talk. I'm sorry, Sheriff, but you're not supposed to be back here for uh, safety purposes. Come on, damn it. You're acting suspicious. Such an innocent guy, you're acting pretty damn strange, Johan. I don't know what to tell you. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. They're gonna kill me. Oh god, she is gonna fucking kill me. He's gonna get me killed. Things I do. What are you doing? Use your legs to lift, not your back. Huh? You'll get hurt that way. Now, what the hell are you doing? Please, please, Bigby. Please don't. Bigby? What happened to Sheriff? Please don't kill me, Sheriff. I don't want to die. Please, please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Okay, calm down. Listen, just calm the fuck down, okay? I just want some answers. Oh, okay. I'm dead. Either way, they said to me. Johan, you could keep your life and lose your shop, or lose both. What would you do? It, it was a simple choice to make in the moment. Easy, even when they got you on a hook in the deep freeze. Why sneak out? It's a hard one to live with. Why are you trying to sneak out the back, Johan? What are you afraid of? That whole crew. Crew? Fuck. The crooked men's people. Jersey Devil, D and Dumb, and that 
mental case, Bloody Mary. Y you want to talk about the real butcher? <laughs> it's her, not me. This is her place. I'm telling you, they muscled in on me, took over my storage and delivery a long time ago. All cause of that heat wave. That summer was even hotter than this one. Oh, I'd let Mary and those porkers stay cool in the meat locker one day, playing cards, having a great time. I guess they were sizing the place up. Shows what I get for talk. being nice. I'm just a victim in this. I don't know what they do back there. I swear. A and I don't want to know. I'm not allowed to know. What can we see? Well, we're about to see what's back there. And then we'll see if I believe you. I knew this would happen. Didn't know when. But there would be the day. Big B Wolf would walk through my door. And I'd catch hell for their shit. All that for a shop I can't even run right. Dragon meats in through the front. That is when I even get fresh meat. Really? I don't even know what's back there. Could be anything. Dann hören wir uns erstmal ein bisschen um. Gehört haben wir aber leider gar nichts. 